turning back now to domestic politics. The question looming over Capitol Hill is whether a handshake deal will hold, allowing Democrats to pass a $700-plus billion chunk of the president's agenda. Lisa Desjardins is here to break down all the latest developments as lawmakers scramble to complete their work ahead of the August recess. Elisa, hello to you. But first, I do want to ask you about the really tragic news today that a member of Congress, uh, Congresswoman Jackie Walorski of uh, Indiana, uh, was killed in a car accident, uh, along with two of her staff members. You've been talking to people on the Hill. Tell us what they're saying. And you, you knew her some. Tell That's us right. a little about her. It's a state of shock on Capitol Hill about this. Congresswoman Walorski was a rising star. She was a standout member of the House Republican Conference. She was tough. She was intense on her issues. But she was also known as kind, someone whose word you could count on. She, in fact, when Liz Cheney was being shown the door out of leadership, she was many people's favorite choice, people who didn't like Elise Stefanik as much. Also, personally, I can tell you, she always liked to talk about RV manufacturing, perhaps the greatest advocate in history, because that is a big, important industry in her district. Also shocking to lose two young staffers like this. So sure. a very big loss for the Capitol and our sympathies to everyone, of course. Absolutely. Such, such a tragedy. So the agenda before Congress, only days to go before they're trying to get out for the, for the August recess, the Senate. Lisa, we are talking about, what, a half a trillion yeah. dollar yeah. deal in the balance. What is the holdup? What's going on? OK, a quick reminder of what's in this exactly. So one big portion of it, about $370 billion, is for climate change uh, aspects. They also would address drug prices, including Medicare being able to negotiate. It would extend some subsidies. And overall, it also would reduce the deficit, depending on how you count. And we'll probably talk about this another day between 100 and 300 billion dollars. So very big deal. Now, why do we even have this deal? Of course, Senator Joe Manchin. You can show a picture of him and you can see he's the key vote that brought this deal together. Why is it held up? Another key senator, Senator Kirsten Cinema. She has not yet gotten on board this deal and they are really at odds over an important aspect of this bill. I want to show some footage from the Senate floor yesterday. If you look up there at the very top where the Senate president sits, there you see Kirsten Cinema. She was chairing the proceeding there, Senator Joe Manchin. They had a long talk yesterday, did not resolve the differences. Now, another issue, Judy, on timing is the parliamentarian must also okay that everything in this bill fits muster for this budget process. All in all, Judy, I think the timing on this might get pushed back, but I still expect at least some action this weekend. So interesting about uh, cinema and mansion. They're so often together. This time, we don't know. Right. We don't know what will happen. So this snag right now, it's called carried interest. Yeah. It has been around as an issue for a long time. Explain it to us. Again, we may come back to this in more depth another day, but quickly, what carried interest is, is it's a tax provision that has a lower tax rate, especially for the fund managers of things like hedge funds. They pay 20% tax rate. Senator Joe Manchin wants to end that. He looks at that as a loophole. Senator Kirsten Cinema completely disagrees. She feels just as strongly that this should remain in the code, and they are fighting that out right now as we speak. Still no deal between them yet. Meantime, the Senate is getting something done. We've been reporting on it, this measure having to do with veterans. That's right. And an amazing, amazing kind of huge bill that passed yesterday. And I just want to play some sound after that happened, which was just after our airtime. Today, finally, at long last, America lived up to its ideals by saying to our veterans who have been exposed to toxic chemicals from burn pits, we have your back, finally. Congratulations. Thanks to the United States Senate for demonstrating Rosie. when there's something good and a good cause, this place still works. Bipartisan. That was a Republican and a Democrat talking about it. Also, another bipartisan vote just happened on NATO, NATO expansion. So, mm -hmm. you know, there are some things happening in the Senate. As for that PACT Act for veterans, president plans to sign it on Monday. It will go into law and take effect, and just parts of it will take effect um, in September and October. And just a few days ago, we, it was hanging in the balance. We didn't right. know what was going to happen. Lisa Desjardins, thanks very much. You're welcome.